Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Kelly's getting married. She's getting married on the family farm. The eating and the good cheer is going to happen in the barn. She wanted an arrangement that, of flowers that just looked like she went outside, pick, 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 and just put them together and she and the girls carried those. Now, she also, I'll just put that down. She also asked if I could give her a hand for the kind of flowers that would be sort of like would suit the farmyard barn look. So this is what we have come up with and it is so incredibly super easy. Right, the first thing we need to do is to start with the vase. Now she wanted something rustic, had to be rustic Esther. So after much thought this is what I found. This is called broom or rush fencing comes in rolls of varying heights, lengths and widths. What I have done with this is I have cut it and when you see it, it's got this wire that's running through that holds the broom or the rush together. It's actually called something else, broom and something else, I can't remember. But anyway, you can get this from your garden shop. So I have cut it to the size of my vase. And what I've suggested to Kelly is she has varying sizes of these so that she can have, and it's the interplay of highs and lows and shorts that will make it visually interesting. And to cluster these on the tables or she could put them around. So once you've got, and the other thing I've done here is I've made this just a little bit longer because that is how you are going to, whoa, 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 is how you're going to get your, hold on, oh, make sure it's sitting flat. So you can make this as tall or as short as you like. Now you can finish it off to bind with a little bit more wire or you could use some rope. Now, let me just put this down because I've got other things to share. And with the magic of me being organized, I've actually done some. I've already done one. That is just a, just a couple of inches over the, um, protruding above the rim of your container. Now, I've tied this off with some string, but you could use whatever you like. The next thing, oh, and then there was a another little tip that I found. You know how sometimes when you're putting your flowers into your container and they just all tippy tippy fall everywhere? Get a smaller piece of your brush or your rush um, fencing. This, a lot of people use this here in New Zealand for, you know, fencing. It's very messy, I wouldn't use it. But anyway, the next thing to do is to put that down and inside the cavity of your vase. So now you have a structure in which to support your flowers. I love it. Next to go into here, because we've got this lovely, lovely, lovely rushy look down the bottom, is to bring in a little bit of Twisted Willow. Now with this, I love this stuff, you can just do so much with it. Okay, I'm just gonna twist that and then bend that around. And then I just thought that we could get a bit of movement with this. And because it is willow, it, you can bend it back on its, itself and it will hold. And also you can go down in amongst those bits of wire. So now we've got a little bit of movement, I'm loving it. Now these other two pieces, I'm just going to push those down and into the, in fact, no, I don't want them that tall. So I'm just gonna bend those up, ever so, oh, big strong hands, bend those up, and I'm just gonna push those into the, oh, look at that, oh, already I'm loving where we're going. Right, the next to go in is exactly the same flowers as she was using, and we're using in her bouquets, and I'm just gonna push a little bit of that into there. I've got a couple of, oh, why didn't I take the labels off, for goodness sake? A piece of the gum, that can go into there. Now the sunflowers, let's put those in. That can just go into there. Oh, look at that. Look at the picture, how it's all coming together. Gorgeous textures, oh, so lovely. Right, I'm gonna use two of those. You could use the bigger ones in here if you wanted to, but I think that the field sunflowers are much, much nicer. The net, oh, look, I've done it again. I keep saying to myself, take the labels off, Asta, but I, oh, look, that'll do. 
actually. I'll just put that into there for now. That can go around and into there. I will take that silver off. That's That can go down into there so that your eye's hitting it, exactly like the bouquet. Then I'm going to bring, I've done it again. Why am I not concentrating? Sorry about that. Right, that rose hip can go into there. That orange rose, garden rose or tea rose, can go down and into there. I've got a yellow one here, so I'm going to bring that towards the back, like so. Oh, look at that, isn't that just looking too lovely? Oh, gorgeous. And then with the last of the pom pom date with the pom pom dahlia, I'm just going to bring that up and into the centre. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing in a minute. And that can just sit there. And I think that that needs to come over just a little bit there. How easy was that? Now, let me just get the bouquet out. Ta da! Just bringing them through. I think that this looks fantastic. Kelly, you can do this. And I do want to see images of what you have created so that I can share with everybody here at Astor's Place. You have a beautiful day, and I will see the rest of you again another day. Bye for now.